And I, thank you. I know that some of y'all have submitted stuff to Dr. Coley as well, some images, and we're going to get them. She's going to be collecting all of the images on a little flash drive. And it's just the Clement A. Course students who are submitting pictures for this, local artists, and we might have some MUSC students participate as well to get some different perspectives. So if you could really participate, that would be great. I have some handouts here explaining what this whole thing is in a brief uh, summary of what I just said. And then we'll ask you to just sign some photo waivers so that we can uh, pr print out your pieces of work and display them. Um, so if you could get that to Dr. Coley, she has a flash drive, just give them to her uh, electronically or however you want to do that. Take them with your phone, take them with a the camera. I think the Clemente course has access to some cameras if you are in need of a camera for that. So if y'all have any questions, uh, Dr. Coley can bring them my way. I can't stay very long, but thanks for the opportunity and I hope you have a good day. Thank you, Robin. Our speaker is talented in many ways. And so first we're gonna bring up Tanya Maynard, who will give a musical selection. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Tanya Maynard, and Mr. Clarence uh, McDonald, uh, Clemente Course uh, alumni, also a veteran like myself. Uh, he'll be playing on piano, assisting on piano.
few seconds and then you're back up. <laughs> Tanya is one of our 2015 Olympic students. She's also a veteran of the United States Army. She was chosen by the class to be our speaker this evening. Tanya Reno. So once again, uh, good afternoon, everybody, or good evening. Um, thank you, Mr. West, for that introduction. I uh, just wanted to say thank you for all of you. Uh, to everybody who's here tonight for uh, coming out. Um, like uh, Mr. West said, I was uh, selected for this. I really didn't, I was already performing and I was still with that. But uh, <laughs> uh, pre our president, Annette, <laughs> uh, she was supposed to speak tonight, but she couldn't be here. But she also wanted to uh, pass along, wanted me to pass along the message that she's also very proud of each and every one of you. And uh, she felt honored to serve as president, just as I felt honored to serve as vice president. Um, I started out, um, I heard about the Clemente course through a very enthusiastic uh, representative through the uh, Veterans Stand Down program. Um, I got out of the Army, I started, I went in the Army in 2001, I got out in 2008, uh, honorable discharge to tours in Iraq. And I went right into uh, culinary school in Charlotte. And I completed my degree in that. And I was like, I'm going to school. I have a library card, Google, internet. I'll learn whatever else I need to learn on my own. I'm not going back to school. But uh, destiny in life just uh, led me here. And uh, I couldn't be more grateful uh, for the experience. Uh, I'm honestly so proud of, of this class and, and what they've accomplished. Um, that, you know, I, I even wrote the mayor and I invited the mayor, but uh, unfortunately he wasn't, wasn't able to attend, but he sent his well wishes as well. Uh, to Dr. Coley, uh, I just want to say you are truly an inspiration. And uh, I just remember what you said the first day that we got there, you know. You know, you say you're human, <laughs> and you need encouragement too. And uh, you know, I, I think we've lived up to that <laughs> as far as encouraging you. But 
you've also encouraged us as well. We want to say thank you for that uh, to Mr. West. <laughs> Uh, your, your, your sense of humor, your, your, your style of teaching is just impeccable. Um, like, like I said Tuesday, uh, you restored my faith in, in uh, the educational institution. I'm grateful for that. Uh, this class, uh, we collectively together, we won the Philip Simmons Foundation Award for East Side Day. <laughs> Because I, I think we covered just about every category that was available. I'm talking about paintings, uh, blogs, photos, slideshows, interviews, you name it. Everybody contributed. And it, it was just beautiful. And uh, I, I don't think it, it was even close, a close contest. Um, Conversations, interactions. Um, I, I, I really think our country can learn from this class. I, I really do. I really do. Because just like I told them Tuesday, we you know, there's a lot of lot of sensitive topics that we discuss, and not once did I hear anybody ever raise their voice calling, resort to name calling, um, cutting, even cutting one off. You know, we all listen to each other, we all consider our backgrounds and our opinions, and I really think that, uh, please let me make sure I'm saying his name right, Roberto Clemente, I, I remember Clemente, but I, I keep tangling up, but huh? I, 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 I think we're doing a good job of keeping that legacy alive. Just class right here. Um, To, uh, to the dean and to the president. I had the opportunity to meet you at the student government meeting. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm just glad to be a part of it. I, I feel like I'm a part of something really great here. And uh, I look forward to continuing to work with Trident. But uh, that's all I have. I'm not going to hold anybody up. <laughs> I know it's late and we want to get to the food. So, <laughs> Ms. West, you come on down. Thank you all. Another guest speaker, Melissa Kochi. You know, she's coming up. I want to go ahead and introduce her. Uh, Melissa is a full time student at MUSC, and yet she found time several um, visits to the course to participate in the health awareness workshop that you heard Brian talk about earlier. And so at this time, let's bring up Melissa. <laughs> hey everybody, uh, my name's Melissa and I'm a second year medical student at the Medical University of South Carolina. And this year, I was lucky enough to be a part of the Clemente course in even a small way. And I can't say enough of how honored I have been to be a part of it, to meet the Clemente students, to see the passion of the students, of the teachers, of the staff all coming together to create an environment where our voices can be heard where we can find our own voices and we can share them with others and in such a respectful way. Um, I'm, I did write a little speech and my heart is beating pretty fast, so I'll try not to race through it. <laughs> I want to say that this day is for you. This is an amazing day and I am so grateful to have been invited not only as a coordinator for the health awareness uh, course, but also as a speaker in front of you. And I just want to first congratulate you. Congratulations.
congratulations. I hope that it feels good. <laughs> I hope you feel excited as I feel for what's happening right here tonight. And I can remember graduations past where speakers would come before us and give us words of wisdom and where are you, what are you gonna do now? And it always seemed to be someone to look up to, someone that I could, that we were supposed to follow in their footsteps, some, a successful business person or an athlete or someone who had made it. And although I loved listening to their words, I just never found, I never saw myself in their shoes. The, that particular picture of success just never, it was a beautiful picture, but it never seemed to fit uh, for me. So I really wanna say, I'm not here to give you any advice because I'm sure you don't need it. In fact, I feel like I've gotten a lot of advice from you this year. <laughs> really good advice too. And I'm not here to show you a path because you're already currently on one and the last thing you need is one more person telling you what to do. But what I do want to do tonight and every moment I see you and every moment I don't is to share in your hope. I want to be a person who can fan the flames of your passion and throw that energy up into a great ball of fire that'll take you on to the next step. Whatever bright future you're already imagining now, even if it's simply to be more kind to your loved ones, to rededicate your faith, to read a bit more every day, or to strike out in a new direction for work, or with your family, or with your community, and even civic responsibility. I'm here to add my hope and energy together with yours to create a force that will not waver, that will not be diminished, and never put out. I think there's a reason that so many of our social rituals involve gathering together at these moments of great importance, whether it's weddings or funerals, baptisms or graduations. I think we all know that when we come together, whether it's to celebrate or to grieve, there's a force we can create. Before heaven and earth and all our fellow humans, we make bold new steps together. But what will happen tomorrow morning? What happens after we've shared warm embraces with each other, where we've heard encouraging words from our peers, from our teachers, we have to step out on our own. We have to take those steps and we strike out alone. We can't wait for our cherished loved ones to go together. We have to take those first steps. But even though we strike out on our own, we, can, we are still connected with each other. Even though our path is ours and ours alone, and no two people will ever walk the exact same path, we draw our strength that, from knowing that our fellows are joining and stepping out on their own as well. Striking out on a new path full of joy and full of pain. We can connect with them at any moment. There's a quote from a book called Tiny Beautiful Things by Cheryl Strayed. And they're words that I draw a lot of strength from especially when times are hard or, ch or challenging. Whatever happens to you belongs to you. Make it yours. Feed it to yourself even if it feels impossible to swallow. Let it nurture you because it will. You may already know this intimately. Every single thing that happens to you is yours and yours alone. What will you do with it? How will you use it? Will it be Will it press you down with pain and with sorrow? Or can you reform it? Can you make it something to become your armor and your strength? Can our pain become our stepping stones to launch us in a new direction? Whatever happens to you is yours alone. Feed it to yourself, even if it feels impossible to swallow. And when you find yourself succumbing to negative thoughts, the ones that tell you, I'm not worthy, I'm nothing, I can't, I've failed, I want to share a story that I heard when I lived out in the Southwest. I lived there for almost 10 years, and if you've been out there, you know the West is far from tame. It is still wild, and it is lawless, and it is barren, and there are huge swaths of land that I think no human has ever touched, with dry, barren mountaintops and dry shrubbery everywhere. 340 days of sunshine a year, and I, I think the sun just rules. The sun is the king over there. So when I lived there, I had heard of a particular Native American tribe that was famous for their rain dance. And some of you may have heard this story before. They were, now mind you, it barely rains in Arizona, especially Southern Arizona. I mean, it is a, it is a true desert. But this particular Native American tribe was famous 
for the rain dance having a 100% success rate. Every single time they did the rain dance, it rained. Every time, without fail. There was a friend of mine who was also a yoga instructor, and he was one of our senior yoga instructors, and he was so curious. He, he had to know, how is this possible? It barely rains anyway. So he had a chance to visit this particular reservation and had a chance to see the rain dance perform and sought out one of the tribal elders. And with this burning question, please tell me, I have to know, how is it possible that your rain dance works every single time? How is that possible? And the tribal elder sort of smiled and he said, do you really want to know why? Of course, please tell me. He said, our rain dance works every time. It rains every single time we dance because we dance until it rains. Oh. I think of that story every single day, especially when I think, oh, I can't, I failed. <laughs> I tried three times and it didn't work. But if whatever is burning in your mind and your heart right now is this new step, whatever that beautiful new creation you want to bring into the world, what, however simple or however grandiose it is, I hope that you try again and again. I used to have a teacher who said, I hope you fail a thousand times because that's a thousand times that you know exactly how not to do it. <laughs> you have become an expert at how it doesn't work. <laughs> So I hope you all become experts because every single failure is bringing you closer, one step closer, one step closer. So I hope you fail a thousand times. <laughs> now I hope you dance until it rains. Thank you so much. This has been an honor. Thank you so much. Okay, right before we start with the certificates, I want to at least take this opportunity to thank you for participating in our program. And it's very heavy from the president's office on behalf of Clemente. honor our graduates. Especially when you first start out, you don't know how much work you will apply. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I really work these folks, Dr. Thorne. And none of them chased me in the parking lot. Thank you. <laughs> and at this time, we'd like to honor our graduates. Now, if you notice in your program, uh, they're listed in alphabetical order, except for the first person. Grace Lorraine received the highest point average in the class. Yeah! Because of that, we have a special prize for her.
were trying to get tell me that so I would work hard. <laughs> I didn't know it was true. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just do this separately. Okay. Dorn G. Coleman. Okay. Thank you. As Dorn is coming out, I want to share a little bit about her. Mary Margaret Gibbons. Larkin.
Ahitza Rogers. We have one more music selection, but I also wanted to recognize our Vice President for Academic Affairs. She arrived late. Kathy Arnquist, Dr. Arnquist. <laughs> and, and now we're going to give out the Health Awareness Certificate. Tanya Maynard. Come on back. Doris Jean Coleman. Laura Ma. 
So the Health Awareness Certificate, we held six programs um, at 5 o'clock before the classes, the Clemente courses, six times over this semester. Um, they had to complete, I think, at least four, four of them to get the certificate. Um, but we will be doing it again in the spring. So if you didn't get a chance to do it this, this semester and you can do it next semester, you are so welcome. And we hope to see you there, too. Grace Lorraine. Jenkins back up. He's going to hand out to the Also, Robert's certificate for the health of our yeah. The true celebrity could not be Hollywood. That's right. The true celebrities are your neighbors, your friends, um, people who make you feel special. Right. Yesterday was history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but every moment is like a gift. That is the reason we call it the present. And I have some things to present. Kathy, please come down. Kathy, help me out a lot. This is my first painting. Kathy drove me around, and she was always there for me, and I wanted to thank her. Oh, 
always been an inspiration. You always seem like you knew my name. You always recognize me. I can always depend on that very nice hug and kiss on the cheek. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Dr. West, Professor West. Thank you so much for all your, your time, your hours and days that you spent with us. <laughs> so thank you, Dr. West. I'll have something for you later. <laughs> uh, and everybody knows Dr. Coley. I'm not going to take a lot of time. Uh, but she, I'm leaving. I have a job in New Jersey. And I, I'm not saying that I won't be back, but I do want to leave upon myself with Dr. Coley. This is a self portrait